Hey my friends, how you doing? Kater here on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friends. So I'm making this video today, guys. I want to talk about the law of attraction. What is the law of attraction? Have I used it in my life? Does it work? Does it not work? What is my experience with it? Now, if you haven't been familiar with this idea, a lot of people who's doing business, a lot of people who's trying to grow themselves to the next level that's doing personal development, you will hear it some way, somehow, people talk about the law of attraction. I did not know of this idea until I get inside a business and I start hearing it from different mentors and different people start going around a lot more often. I started hearing the term and I started looking more into it. But in the meanwhile, probably some of you that's watching this video, you maybe you're doing that right now in your life but you're just not familiar with the term or what it means or this this whole science this whole quantum science behind the law of attraction so i started dabbling into it even more and here are my results does it work all right let's get into it So the law of attraction, okay, how does that stuff works? You'll find some people who are very successful and tell you, hey, the law of attraction is a bunch of gibberish. And you'll find other people that says, hey, man, this stuff changed my life. It works. So this is the whole idea behind the law of attraction. Okay, the law of attraction goes that way. You want to focus on what you want versus focusing on what you don't want. So it's like focusing, whatever you focus on, it expands. Let's say you got a bunch of bills and you're trying to make this business happen and you focus on your bills. Guess what happened? Your bills expand and you, you start giving yourself much trouble over the bills that you have. You know, let's say you have to do public speaking. And you start focusing on how you're going to do bad, how you're going to suck. You know, the law of attraction simply states that whatever you want more of your life, in your life, you want to think more about these things. So the way that we are originally set, our body is set up, our mind is set up to go fast towards you know, negativity. You see that your mind was drift a lot faster towards whatever that's negative or that produce a negative outcome than it is to actually produce a positive outcome. And that goes way back in our DNA. That goes way back because back in the days we was trying to survive. So our mind automatically connect goes into survival mode on how we can survive catastrophe, you know, how we can survive the worst possible case. You know, you being chased by a gorilla or being chased by, you know, tigers and stuff like that. So your your mechanism inside of your body always on the defense mode, it makes you feel good because you have everything in control. Now, in order for you to grow, you want to start thinking on the positive, right? You want to start thinking on the positive and that's how you're going to start attracting those positive stuff in your life. Now, if you're going to apply that inside of your business, if you're going to do a lot of motivational stuff, if you're going to do a lot of, you know, critical thinking and you're going to start doing a lot of love attraction stuff, here's a missing piece that like some people don't get. Like if you read the book or you watch the movie The Secret, a lot of people watch this movie. Some people get it and they use it in their lives and they say this stuff changed my life and my business forever. Some people watch the same movie, the same thing, and they keep watching more, they keep listening to more uh, love attraction stuff and they still haven't seen it and they still haven't seen the results. For my own personal experience with the love attraction is that if you don't add action to whatever your mind is being fed, you still can listen to tip forever. You can listen to you know CDs about the law of attraction every single day. You can go to programs after program. Until you add that part to the law of attraction, it is not active. You can watch as many movies as The Secret and just read this goal. Oh, every single day I'm gonna be a millionaire. I'm gonna have all this money in the bank. You can read the goals every day. If you don't have the next component, which is action, right? you're gonna miss out on you know creating anything in your life you're not gonna have these things just by sitting there reading the books or sitting there and reaching um, reading your goals now this is how it impacts you the law of attraction now remember we are the sum of our action whatever that we do we have to think it first right we have to think 
whatever we're doing. So by affecting our thinking, which we have the conscious and the subconscious mind, which is two, two direct motors that directs the way that we do things, like the way that we feel, the way that we do things, the person that we are. So the way that you affect the, cons the subconscious mind is by what you put in repetitively every single day. It becomes your being, that person that you are in the inner core, right, without thinking. You know, because inside of you, there's this person that you are without thinking. That's who you are, right? There's certain principle that you have in your life. That's who you are. You will not bend for them. That's who you are as a person. Even if someone says something differently, but those principles are built in in your core. So if you was born in poverty, right? All that you know throughout your whole life is misery. You know, um, things are tough. You know, I cannot grow. Uh, you've never seen people around you being successful. Or you was born in the hood or the ghetto or some third world countries and and that's what you've seen, right? If that's what you use to repetitively, you must take control in order to change that subconscious, to reverse, to reverse your subconscious mind so that you can take better action because why? Your action is guided by your thought, by your thought, so by your thinking. So if your action is guided by, the, by your thinking, so if you change your thinking, you're gonna take better action. Now remember what I say, the law of attraction does not work without action. So. If you change your thinking, right, and you don't take action, so there's no results. If you change your thinking and your action doesn't change, you will still get the same results because your action is the catalyst to get you to the next level. I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Right? If you're trying to build your business, you're trying to build your life, right? You're still reading, but you're doing the same thing that you used to do. That still gave you the same results. That gave you the same results your last 25 years. If you're still taking the same action, you can read as many books as you want. You can watch as many videos as you want on the law of attraction. It's not going to work. They have to work interchangeably. Like they have to work together. You know, um, synergy. You have to synergize the working of the law of attraction ideas on your mind and the work that you're gonna put in. So if your mind is gonna provide for the action that you're thinking. So if you're thinking positive, guess what? You're gonna take more positive action that's gonna yield more positive results. You know, let's say you, you're thinking about starting this business and you're doubting yourself. Oh, maybe it's gonna be hard. Maybe I'm not gonna be successful. Maybe I'm gonna fail. You know, maybe it's just gonna be another at attempt and I'm gonna fail, you know? Maybe it's just gonna be another scam, or you, you have all those things going in your mind, you know, maybe you're gonna start this business and it's gonna start picking up and then things is gonna change and you're not gonna be successful. So, although these thoughts can be existing, what you wanna focus in the other set, on the other set of thoughts inside of the law of attraction, which is saying, maybe if I, trust, if I start this business, it's gonna change my life. It's gonna revolutionize my whole family. I will be able to provide for my family. I'll be my own boss. I'll change my life. You know, I'll be one of the greatest. I'll be one of the people that came from nothing and create something amazing out of my life. I will not be one of those statistic, right? I'll be one of those people that change my life for a whole different level. So maybe there's gonna be some trials, but through trials, that's how you're gonna grow, right? If you sit passively, Here's the thing, although we all want pleasure out of life, we all just wanna have fun, we all want life to be fun, but what you must realize as a human being, you was not born just to have fun, right? We was born to conquer, to overcome, to grow, and automatically you sit at that stage where if you are someone, you become an entrepreneur, you're at that stage of producing, right? You're at that stage of growing, and you find yourself just to sit in a corner, just waiting, just, you know, oh, just waiting on somebody else's to make ways for you. It's not gonna feel as right to you because you know that you was born to grow, right? You was born to get to the next level. And that, that's the idea I'm trying to convey in this video. Do I believe in the law of attraction? Yes, I do. I believe that it works. And I believe that when you write things down and you keep saying them to yourself, your mind, you start changing your neural pattern and your mind and you start looking for ways. It start aligning the people that you need in your life to make this stuff happen. Let's say, hey, you write, hey, you know what? I wanna build this huge business that makes a million dollars a year. And you keep saying that every single day, and you start looking, you start reading, you start taking action, you start you know, connecting with people, you start networking, you start changing your life. You are taking the action that is aligned to the goal that you have. And once you're taking this action, 
You're gonna start a meeting of those people, maybe through networking. You're gonna start meeting up people, maybe through a book that you read. You're gonna meet your mentors, or you're gonna start meeting people of YouTube from your videos. People will start contacting you from the action. See, the law of attraction, what I see, a lot of people spend so long through three, four, five hours a day watching video, it makes you feel good from the message. It makes you feel like, oh man, I am invincible. I can conquer anything. I can just crush out. Like you watching this video, maybe I'm giving you some inspiration. Maybe I'm giving you some insight. It kind of opened your mind. But the only way that this stuff is gonna work for you is by you turning off this video after you're done and go implement some type of action, to create some type of plan on how you're gonna achieve your goals, on how you're gonna get yourself to the next level. So the law of attraction I've worked in my life, I predicted this place that I'm in right now, I predicted making this video, I predict almost everything that I want in my life because I, I write them down on a goal, like today, this is today, that's the plan for today. Today's Monday, if you can see it, right? Monday, December, so I have a plan for the day. This is called an action plan. Now, because I believe in the law of attraction, I believe that it will bring the results based on the action plan that I have. So now, there's synergy. There's something for my law of attraction to work with. But if I have just this belief in the law of attraction, and I have no work in the Bible, it says that faith without work doesn't work. I think the Bible is the biggest book on the law of attraction ever. Faith without work, it doesn't work. So you gotta have some type of plan, you gotta have your faith, then have some type of plan, synergize the two together, change your mindset, believe in what you're saying, believe in what you want, and go get it. Everything will start aligning for you. And it will be, it will be like, wow, this stuff really works. That's when it's really gonna work for you. So that's my own personal experience with the law of attraction. It has helped me think better, take better action, and therefore yield better results. And I'm loving it every single day I keep pouring in my mind, changing my subconscious mind to attract the stuff that I want in my life. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can apply that. Stop focusing on the negative side of your life. I want you to focus on the positive in every situation. If you're in a relationship, right? And sometimes we think to judge people on the bad behavior or the bad characteristics. But if you've been with that person for five, 10, two, three years, the reason why you got with that person was something there that attracted you. They had some good components of their life. They have some good compa compa com <laughs> compatibility. Well, I forgot the word, right? Compatibility. You know, I'm French, so it's kind of crazy pronouncing the two. But they have some, some um, connection with you. And those connections, guys, that's what kept you in place for the first time. That's what kept you in place for all these years. So instead of focusing on what's wrong with the person, how they should change this about them, you know, how they should be looking or whatnot, think about all the things that you can praise them for. Think about all the things that, that's in their life that you could talk about and say, hey baby, I love you just for this. I love you for that. Because the more you focus on these things, the more of this quality you're gonna start seeing in that person. But the more you focus on how they suck at cooking, how they suck at maybe doing the laundry, or they suck at whatever, whatever that bothers you. But if you focus on that the most, guess what? You're gonna start seeing more of all the other facts to why you should leave that person or to why your relationship with them shouldn't work. So the law of attraction can work in almost anything, guys. That's my take on it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what's your experience with the law of attraction. What's your take on it? How do you feel about it? Has it impacted your life? You know, what was your first time you was exposed to the law of attraction? I didn't get exposed to it until I got into business, which was about four years ago. Um, you know, how's your experience with it? Has it changed your life? Has it helped you? I know me, it's been helping me and I'm gonna keep practicing this stuff. Anyway guys, that was Cater. Appreciate you. I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys later. Um, shout out to the subscriber who won actually in my contest giveaway. I give away $25. If you want to be part of it, what you got to do is to follow the step. Like, comment this video, share it. Also follow me. The link in the description. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all those places. And I choose one of my subscribers in one of those places who acts, you know, who stay active on my channels and the stuff that I do. And I give, um, I give out a giveaway every week. Uh -huh.